Well, today, YouTube, I'm reviewing this JML uh, four sweeper. It's a little sweeper, batch operator one with four brushes. So there's the battery, and um, people on the internet are saying don't overcharge them. But how can you overcharge them if the light goes green or red? Well, right, so I've set my tripod up there so I can get the machine and move it around rather than give you a close up of the machine. So just so there, they, there, they, there it all is. Okay, so there's the mess, which is rice and nuts and bolts. All right, so I'm going to turn the machine on and we'll come across with it. So there you go, judge that for yourself. Now I will say, here we go, I'll drop it all back out. And it's, one thing I do like about this is the cleaning part of it, how to drop the stuff out. So we'll just press these two buttons there and it empties as it should. Okay, you see all the mess there now. And then we'll just put this thing down to the floor and that, and that now is sealed up again. So there's no dirt, you don't have to do nothing with it, you don't have to do no dirtiness, you don't have to, the only dirtiness what you have to do is if you get airs around the wheels, you have to clean them off, but they do provide the tool with it for doing that. So now I'm gonna clean this mess up again, just to show it again. You can see it's there, a big pile of it now. And there it is again all done in a couple of seconds so yeah now because I'm a bloke I deal with nut and bolts and stuff like that because that's part of what I do I, I build things and because I build things I need nut and bolts and if I drop nut and bolts tacks nails and stuff like that it's fantastic just to get that a quick go over like that rather than get a dustpan and a brush or a vacuum that can't angle it. The only vacuum that I really had that can really angle um, nut and bolts is a Henry, and they're fantastic. But getting Henry out and winding his lead, plugging it all in, when you can just grab that there and off you go. So yeah, it's worth it. It's a little sweeper. So just think about your dustpan and brush. Every time you get your dustpan and brush out, you can be getting this out, you won't even have to bend over. Or, you know, when I bend over, you won't even have to kneel down and hurt your knees and anything else. And yes, this does have the feature of um, that part, so you can go underneath, so you can go underneath tables and stuff like that. 
The only criticism I can give about that is you can't spin it while you're going underneath the table. There's no way. See, you, you can't spin as if it was like normal because you just can't. So, a bit useless sometimes, maybe, but it's all right for just going underneath. It's just all right for going underneath something in a straight line. You've, your foot, yeah, the four brushes are still getting it anyway. But you can't, it's not a 360 rotation then, is it? See? If you try to rotate that, you have to have the height. Which is a shame, it's good. it is a good idea, so I do like it. And it does spin really well. So yes. Marks out of 10. For what he can do, I'll give it 10. Marks out of 100, I'll give it 100 even. But I don't believe that 10.5 battery can last 40 minutes. I think that's pure bullshit. I think 20 minutes maximum because I've had it going for 20 minutes, well, 15 minutes, playing with it, and... It started dying out on the carpet, so no way does that do 45 minutes like they say. It's about 10, 15, 20, 20 minutes max I would give this on a car on a carpet especially. But on a hard floor, I suppose, yeah, it could last a lot longer because there's no strain on the motors on the gearbox. Anyway, that's that's the JML. swivel sweeper okay and that's the g2 version so it's a jml swivel sweeper g2 and they're not as noisy as what you think the camera if it is picking up the noise is just picking up too loud but believe me they're not that noisy they're a lot quieter than your normal vacuum they're a lot quieter than a lot of things and Believe it, at one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, you will not disturb your neighbours if you're up and you're using it. You will not disturb. It won't pick up dust out of the carpet. It's only a little sweeper. That's for stuff that's lying on top of the carpet, like confetti, say. It will pick up confetti, it will pick up rice, but it won't pick up things where are buried in your carpet like dust so it's not a vacuum it's just a sweeper remember it's just a sweeper if you can do it with your dust pan brush you can do it with this okay that's all for now that's my review of the jml swivel sweeper g2 okay hope that helps somebody thanks for watching if you liked my videos just let me know uh, or even if you wanna press the like button or if you want to press the subscribe i'm always happy for subscriptions and no this is a total free um thing i i paid for this out of my own pocket and i took my time to do this video so i would like a like at least please thank you catch you later